like little Viking penguins on boats. Which does make it a bit more difficult so you have to deal with two targets in one go. We have a giant here, and... Oh! Lost that head, giant hipster! Welcome, everybody, to the Falcon Wad Shot. I'm your host for the evening, the spear-chucking master known as Falcon, and this right here is Licked Spear. And as you could probably imagine by the title, it's all about a game where you chuck the spears in a bit of a simulator in German future, yeah? German future in space. You go ahead and you fight a lot of giants and weird hipsters out in German space, yeah? I'm gonna stop that voice right now because number one, I'm pretty sure it's very annoying. And number two, it just might be offensive to some people as well. But this is indeed a really fun game. I really enjoyed the art style and the music's actually really, really cool. It plays out like more of an arcade game, a bit more score based and stuff like that. So your mileage may vary with this game, but personally, I enjoyed it quite a bit. So wanted to show it off over here so without further ado alrighty we're good to go here so at the moment I'm in level 3 which happens to be Das Forbidden Glaciers yeah um, at the moment we also have 23,350 LSD now you're probably thinking LSD yeah it's definitely a play on words because you probably have to be on some LSD or some really funky narcotics in order to think up of a game like this but it's actually really funny because the game is aware of it so it, it has a, a really like um, funny little way to spell out what LSD actually stands for in the game I forgot what that is here at the moment, but you use your LSD points after a stage to go over to the Lick Shop to buy a couple of new abilities. So this will be your attacking abilities, which you have the Tri Spear level two at the moment. We have the Uber, which is kind of like more of a special attack for crowd control um, at level one, and we also have the Das Shield, which is going to be a defensive capability. And in this game, if you take a hit, you die in a sense. You don't die, you have to start all over again, but you die, which then really hurts you in terms of your overall score at the end of the stage here. So, uh, you personally want to keep yourself alive as long as possible, so your Dash Shield will definitely help out with that. You also have the Leaked Trance, you have the Super Time, and you have the Leaked Guardian, yeah. Uh, but these will be, you know, down the line you unlock them as you progress down with the game. Uh, for now, let's go back over here to the Overworld map. We'll go over to number two, because this is the one that I already comfortable with, which is going to be the Das Gloomy Sea Castle. Let's go ahead and start this one here really quickly. Objectives, we have to kill the Spider King. Don't let the Harpoon get you and kill the boss on the first try. Okay. It's actually a really fun level because it starts showing you some more of the different enemies. So the very first world, you have to deal with this guy in a suit just running towards you. And a couple of giants on occasion. Oh, that headshot. And normally, you want to go with the headshots because if you start linking all those together, you get more of a multiplier, which gives you more power to your shot and also more points down the line. But it's also based on the enemies on screen, so sometimes whenever the enemy stops spawning momentarily, they will probably break your combos on occasion, which does suck, but um, again, you can build up your combos really, really fast in this game. And I just really enjoy this game a lot. I'm not just very simplistic. All you really have to do is make sure they don't get over to your point. Oh, what a miss right there. Just barely missed the top of that hipster's mohawk. But it's a very simplistic game, yet it's still very, very fun to play because once you start getting into the move of the group of things, I should say, and start linking these headshots one after another, you just start like really enjoying it. And you just don't want to miss. And then when you find a limit, you're kind of like, ah, god damn it, I missed that one. Like, see that one right there? I got him in the chest instead of the head. Dogman, flying dogman goes down. These guys, I'm not sure what the hell they're supposed to be. Are they like Pepe's? <laughs> I think these green dudes might just be Pepe's if I'm right. I really haven't paid too much of close attention because I'm usually just trying to like, you know, look for the next following enemy on screen to figure out what my next shot's gonna be. They just might be a bunch of Pepe's running towards you. It's kind of weird. Damn frog, he's everywhere these days. Flying dog is down. Now this is kind of fun because we have a couple of these I'm not sure what they're supposed to do. I think they're like penguins if I'm right. <laughs> like little Viking penguins on boats. Which does make it a bit more difficult so you have to deal with two targets in one go. We have a giant here and... Oh! Lost that head, giant hipster! Oh, come on! Missed that one. And you don't want to miss as well because it's going to cost against your overall... I guess scoring system at the end of the level here. You get it based on accuracy and how many times you die, how many headshots you hit, etc, etc. So... If you're looking for the highest score imaginable, you want to miss as little as possible. Headshots, baby! Headshot, and... Oh! Link another one! Yeah! Dogman? Oh, I got him in the foot. Dogman's a bit more tricky. He's got like a smaller head, and he's kind of like at a weird angle. So whenever he kind of dives down towards you a little bit, that's where you want to go for the headshot. I missed that shot completely right there. Alrighty, it's about time we show off the Lick Spear because these guys are getting kind of close. You saw how I, my, my spear broke into different three different spears? That's the Lick Spear ability right there. Has a cooldown time of about like 10 seconds now because it's at level 2. 
Uh, the second one is the uber ability, which is kind of like more of a crowd control. And then the shield is um, to kind of block any sort of dude coming at you, or projectiles as well. They actually work better against projectiles, which is a really good place to show it off here, because we'll have a penguin that actually shoots you with that cannon up there. This is more of a trickier one, because you gotta aim high. Oh, got him. I am so sh certain that is a goddamn Pepe running at me. Now, the guys with the shields are a bit more trickier, because they have a very limited amount of space you can hit them at. You want to go and actually move their shield downward. That's kind of like your chance to attack. Oh, penguin up there. Got him. Yeah, when they bring the shield down, that's basically your best chance to attack. Although, you can also get them when the shield is up. But it's uh, more of a limited space to actually hit them then with that. Penguin, you stop that shit. Oh, come on! <gasps> oh! Got wrecked there. I should have used my shield to shield it off, but... <laughs> I got torn in half on that one. Brutal. Bring that ass down, Penguin Man. Okay. You gotta stop messing around here. Taking too much time focusing on the Pepe's and trying to explain what's happening here. Let me see if I get this shot off. Stupid Penguin. Pepe's gotta go down. Giant Dude's down. Headshot and... Oh! I, I feel like a really big sense of accomplishment when you get the Giants... ...with the with a shot when the shield is up, because it's like a very small margin of error. But of course, even if you hit the shields, it counts as a miss, so it's going to hurt your overall score at the end here, but... Just waiting for that right opportunity. Oh, just missed it completely. There he goes. Another one over there? Yeah. Uh, let's do the tri spear for this one. Oh, all three of them miss? You gotta be kidding me. And you're not going to do it right this time, Penguin Man. Got him in the foot. More than enough for the kill. Yo, shield dude, you gotta go down. Uh-huh. Boom, there it is. Four headshots. 1908. This one gets a bit trickier as well. Um, as a matter of fact, this one's a bit more harder than the one that we died at. I died in the other one just because I wasn't really paying attention to that goddamn penguin up there too well. But for this one, the penguins actually roll up in the roof and they will go above you and then toss that... I'm not sure what the hell that's supposed to be in their bag. It's like a fish of some kind, maybe a piranha. Maybe it's just a red herring. <laughs> it's red after all, right? But um, they'll drop that over your head and it'll instantly kill you. So you want to make sure they don't get close to you because they will kill you instantly. Oh, that was a bad shot completely. As I said, you're not going to get close to me, my friends. There goes that giant. Got him. Got him. Oh, headshot on the penguin. And Pepe. And that guy. Falcon's on fire. Oh, we missed one. Got him. Oh! Pepe just went down when I was even trying to kill that guy. It's getting hectic. Getting a bit hectic. But we got this. Oh, I just barely missed it. <laughs> oh, oh no, not the last one. The last one actually did count against my overall accuracy, too. I have a tendency where I'm always holding down the charge up button to release the spears. So at the end of the stage, I always let go of it and it actually counts against me. Now, the boss fight coming up over here is actually kind of really cool. We have this Viking Pirate King, the ruler of Wursland. He's not only 100% pirate, he's 200% pirate. He's apparently got two um, peg legs as well. So for this one, I thought you had to hit the body, the head, etc, etc. You actually have to go after the helmet first. And those projectiles, you could actually block them with your shield or just knock them out of the sky with that. And once you bring on the helmet, the brain is exposed. Really easy fight. Oh! Got him. Oh, come on! One more should do it. Don't you laugh. We got him right there, buddy. Bring your ass down. Oh, the jaw went down, lost a hand, lost an arm and a hook. Really easy boss fight. Now, we'll probably get dinged a bit because we died once, because I wasn't paying attention, but... Overall, pretty good with the accuracy there. We got Far Spear, we got Super Brillin, and we have... No Harpoon got me. Oh, don't let the Harpoon get you. Oh, we got, yeah, we got um, dinged with the Harpoon because the Penguin got us. Nah, damn it. Alrighty. And I don't believe we have any more time for another one. 
So let, let's just check out what this one's about. I haven't done this one myself just yet, but I'm wor I'm, I'm kind of curious about what's uh, ahead of us here. Like a glacier level of some kind. All right, Pepe now turned into... He was like Jack Splicer or whatever off of that one cartoon. Is that his name? Jack Splicer? Jack something? I don't know. It's like a cartoon. I remember seeing it on occasion. It's like a dude with like blue skin and like weird hair. And he's like a bad guy, scientist dude, but not really. Sometimes bad, sometimes good. I don't know what I'm talking about. I think his name's Jack Splicer. I really wish I knew what kind of cartoon that was. It's not one that I watch myself regularly, but I would see it on TV on occasion. The headshots. I'm now really curious about what the fuck I'm talking about. Jack Splicer, is that his name? What am I thinking about at the moment? Maybe I'm on LSD myself. Maybe playing the game after a while lets you feel the induction of LSD or something. I don't even know what's happening to me here at the moment. Now I'm trying to figure out what the... what the gimmick for this level is going to be. Because so far it's just about the same as the other ones, but just different skinned enemies. Uh, I'm noticing that, like, giant le leviathan in the background flying. I wonder if that's gonna be, like, the boss fight for this stage. That'd be pretty cool. You see that? That's a leviathan, right? I know, because, um, you know, Final Fantasy back in the days. Don't really play them these much these days, but... That's a goddamn leviathan, man. Alright, there's a gimmick it will probably start introducing in here, I have to imagine. Are you guys wearing, like, um... <laughs> Are you guys wearing, like, Kami hats? Or maybe, like, more Russian-styled hats, maybe? I don't even know. Oh! Okay, that's the gimmick. So I think we're going to be dealing with wizards now. And they probably have long-range attacks too. So this is somewhere where, like, the shield will probably come into play. Let's let one of these um, wizards show up and let them attack us. I want to see how this plays out with our shield here. There he is. So let's bring down the, the giant. There's the attack. And we could probably block it. Yep. Interesting. Alrighty, pretty gnarly. Uh, but there you guys have it. That is indeed Lickspear. All the information will be down below for the game. It comes out the 27th, when is when this video should go live, and not the day after. I have to kind of like, you know, schedule some stuff right now. But um, by the time you see the video, the game will be available already on Steam. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.